camping campsite Wi-Fi is a thing of the past. I'm going to show you how to stay connected when you're camping and enjoying the great outdoors. Camping is a thing of Camping without Wi-Fi is a thing of the past. I'm going to show you how to stay connected while outdoor camping and enjoy your time out there. Camping without Wi-Fi is a thing of the past. I'm going to show you how to stay connected wherever you park your RV. I'm going to show you camping is a camping without Wi-Fi is a thing of the past. I'm going to sh camping without internet connectivity is a thing of the past. I'm going to show you how to stay connected wherever you park your RV. I'm going to show you some of the reasons why you need to have internet connection while you're camping. For one thing, my wife works remotely, so when we go camping, she needs to be able to work, check emails and whatnot. And you need to be able to stay connected with your loved ones, email, um, any activities going on in your life. If you have internet, you can, you can stay connected. Emergency situations. In case of emergencies, you can make phone calls through your in case for in case of emergencies you can make phone calls you can pull up maps and you can see where services are entertainment streaming services movies online gaming whatever you can give some entertainment you can watch what's on TV and see what's going on entertainment streaming music streaming TVs ebooks online gaming Whatever it is, it just makes your life so more enjoyable by camping. Working remotely or learning remotely, whether it's Zoom calls, um, educational, educational, whether it's online learning, you can, worth it. You also have. You also have work related student you have work or remote learning if you need to work remotely if you have internet access you have access to it if you need remote learning you have access to it and what you can either work if you need to work or you need to do remote learning online what better way to do it than in the great outdoors and then there's also online gaming for my seven-year-old grandson. He has to have it, believe me. Okay, some of the problems we have. 70% of the people who camp have a problem with internet connections while camping in the great outdoors. Camp Wi-Fi. Campground Wi-Fi is mediocre at best. We've tried it. it. It didn't pass the mustard test. We've tried physical hotspots. We've tried hotspots on our phone. Once our data runs out, they throttle it down so low, it's basically unusable. So I don't, there's, it, did, it didn't work for us. We also have AT&T in our truck. It's, it's mediocre at best too, and it's, it's cumbersome to use. And with a seven-year-old grandson, I hate to keep coming back to this, online gaming is important to him. It's one of the hooks that we use to get him to come with us and spend a little bit of time outdoors.
So now we're going to head on. I'm going to show you what our solution is. It's Connect 10, and that'll be coming up shortly. Stay tuned. We got more to come. Okay, let's let's try this whole thing again. Camping without internet access is a thing of the past. Today, camping without internet camping without an internet connection is a thing of the past. Today, I'm going to show you our go-to way to access the internet while being in the great outdoors. I'm going to show you what we use while we're traveling and in the great outdoors. The number one thing, no, I'm going to let, I'm going to show you what we use and why we use it and the possible uses for our go-to internet connection in the great outdoors. Staying connected. Emails with your loved ones, Zoom calls, birthday parties, uh, sending and receiving pictures or remote learning or remote working is part of the things that you need to have while traveling. I don't like that. Staying connected, whether it's emails, Zoom birthday parties, remote working, remote learning, what a better way to do it than in the great outdoors with an internet connection. Emergency situations. In case of emergencies, you can make phone calls. You can grab maps, see where you're at, and tell people how to get to you, or you can see where the nearest emergency services location would be. And, and you're able to find nearby services. Emergency situations. In case of emergencies, you can make phone calls, you can access maps, and you can access where the closest uh, emergency service would be for whatever. Emergency services. With emergency services, with an internet connection, you have access to maps, phone calls, and services. What more could you ask for? Entertainment. Everybody likes to be entertained. So you got streaming videos, you got streaming music, you have online gaming, you have ebooks. Can you, what better way to do than to entertainment services, streaming music, streaming videos, online services like gaming. What better way? to access entertainment services, online streaming for videos, online streaming for music or ebooks. What better way to relax during your downtime around the campsite? Work or remote work or remote work or remote Remote work or remote learning opportunities. What better way than sitting around the great outdoors, attending a meeting, responding to emails, or taking an online class? Can't be beat. Do you know that 70% of the people who travel and camp or RVing have problems getting internet connections? Wi-Fi wi campground campground Wi-Fi is mediocre at best. We've used hotspots, physical devices. We use hotspots on our phones. Currently, we use T-Mobile on our phones. When we run out of our data, they throttle it, and it's useless. We also have AT&T in our truck. It's very cumbersome to use and not very reliable and not very good. It just does not have a very good antenna. And I'm going to go back to online gaming. My grand seven-year-old grandson 
online gaming is very important to him and he's kind of like well, you know you say you know happy wife happy life well happy grandson happy life i'm telling you it just kind of works that way